I would wager that most of you watching either have or have had a 401k. But what happens to your investment if you leave your job or you left some of that cash behind at a past job and you plan on retiring in 2021? Here's some advice for taking control of your money. Corey Sickles with Safe Harbor Retirement Group joining me again. Good to see you, Corey. Good to see you, Robin. All right, let's talk about the 401k. Corey, I want to specifically ask why now is such a good time to talk about rollovers? You know, it's first of all, it's the end of the year. And if you go back and look at this year, a lot of people have probably switched jobs. A lot of people might have lost jobs worth, you know, during this pandemic. And a lot of people might be retiring you know, over the next two to three months just because it's a new year. So it's it's really a good time to, to uh, you know, to think about rolling it over. I, one of the most common questions I get from people that are planning for retirement is, is what do I do with my old 401ks? What should I do with them? And really, I'm here to help them, you know, help guide them down that path. So then let's ask that question, right? Should you leave your money in, in your current or old 401k, depending on what your situation is? Yeah, everyone's situation is different, but but most times what I'm always going to recommend is you want to be able to take control of your 401k. Uh, what I mean by that is, is by rolling it over, you can control on how you're going to be able to invest that. So there's a lot of different types of options, investments that you can put that money into. So I'm always going to say the best thing to do is be able to take control of it. All right. How do you do that? Yeah. What are some of the options? Well, you know, the, the, the easiest thing to be able to do is you want to make sure you do it the correct way. And that's really what I'm here to help you do. Um, you want to be able to roll it over into your own IRA, but you want to do it to make sure that you're not going to be penalized, taxed or anything like that. But uh, the, the nice part about it is, is you might be limited today on which you which on, on which you actually can invest at your current 401k. And by mm -hmm. moving it into your own IRA, by taking control of it, now you have you have so many options to be able to choose from and how you want to invest those funds. Okay. And you did mention fees. So are there fees tied to a 401k? Are there fees tied to an IRA? What are we looking at? Yeah. So when you, when you start talking about fees on a 401k, especially if you're no longer there, um, you, you might not be aware of it, but sometimes a lot of four, every, again, everyone's situation is a little bit different, but a lot of times 401ks charge, you know, the fees can actually be a lot higher. And, and, and by, by moving it into your own IRA, you're going to know what those fees are. So a lot, there's a lot of unknown fees in the current, you know, whether they might be charging administrative fees, and of course, every investment that you have. And then the other part of it is, is you're not even sure of whether that company that you're working, you know, that you have your 401k in today is going to be there next year because they switch around a lot. And then I also think, you know, and this is something that can't be undervalued, right? In working with an advisor versus just a lot of people have that 401k and it's just set it and forget it kind of attitude, right? Right. So by rolling it over to, you know, someone like myself, again, I have a fiduciary responsibility to you, which means I'm only going to recommend things in your best interest. But what it allows us to do is, one, is establish a relationship. We can look at we can roll it over and make sure you do it the correct way. And then we can look at maybe does it make sense to possibly even convert some of that money into to a tax free income or a Roth IRA, you know, as you kind of go through planning for your retirement. So there's a lot of things that can be a benefit by working with an advisor where we can give you that big picture scope, uh, you know, for your retirement plan. And you talk to people, too, a lot about goals, right? What do you want that to look like, your retirement? And when you do it through work and it's kind of maybe a, a generic 401k option, you don't always get to think about that stuff. You don't. I mean, one of the things we're really able to do is be able to really put together a complete financial plan. And by consolidating your 401ks into an IRA, because some of you know some of the listeners, some of the viewers out there might have multiple 401ks, you want simplicity. And by, by one of the things that we're going to be able to do when we work with you is try to make it a simple retirement plan. You don't want to have accounts everywhere. So you want to be able to make sure that, you know, you're working with someone. Again, you want to make sure you're working with someone that has a fiduciary responsibility because we're only going to recommend things in your best interest always. Okay, and you can do that with a complimentary consultation always, uh, safeharboroh.com. You can find Corey's got a couple of locations in central Ohio to make it convenient. So, Corey, thank you again. Thank you, Robin.